Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the elect. So I just want to do a lesson on how, you know, this place will be destroyed, okay? It's a uh, guaranteed to be destroyed and i'm speaking about babylon the great which is the united states this place will fall okay it's not going to uh, go on forever and i'm going to get the scriptures to back that up so this is isaiah 29 and 6 you believe in the scriptures right you know everybody believes in the scriptures right but they don't really get into it it's isaiah 29 16 surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay <sighs> so lock it so see this 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 country it's it turned it's turned upside down all right the law statutes and commandments of the bible and the way of life how we're supposed to be living it's turned upside down, man. Things that are to be uh, upheld with honor and respect and dignity. Instead, it's looked at as uh, as folly, as stupidity, as vain, that uh, as something that can't help you is that's not important. You know. And that's the reason, and that's why this place is going, gotta go. Okay, it, it, it's totally wicked here, man. So, you know, we want to thank Yahweh that that our, our eyes are open to be able to see it. And that our ears are open to be able to uh, hear the, the, the truth, man. So it says... Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Hey, real quick for an example, the Lord said two moles, what we call them, two moles, they're supposed to get put to death. And how about a kid? If a kid, if your child is showing any, uh, 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 Tendencies of being a mo. You, you you strike the iron while it's hot, man. You know what? You whip his ass real, real, real good. Because that gets that, and and, and even that. The scriptures say, "Spare not the rod, for he shall surely not die." The scriptures speak upon. Whipping your kid's ass when it is needed so that he may learn, you know? What did it say? Oh. Dang. Yeah, Proverbs 19 and 18. Chasten thy son while there is hope and let not thy soul spare for his crying. But guess what? In the United States, you can't even do that. You can't even whip your kid's ass, man. Let him go to school with a mark on him or something, man. You have a, a, the CPS knocking at your door, ready to take him away. So you see how this place is turned upside down according to the scriptures, man. So let's say your, your child shows any tendencies that you're supposed to be able to whip his ass while there's hope. While he's still a child and soaking up knowledge like a sponge and you can, after you whip his ass, you can explain to him what he did wrong and why that's bad. You're supposed to do that while there's hope before he gets too old. And now he's like, look, dad, fuck you. You know, this, this and that. This is my way of life and, you know. Then you ask yourself, where'd I go wrong? You didn't whip his ass. 
when when the iron was hot, you didn't strike, man. You see, where did I go wrong? So back in Isaiah 20, that's just an example. Two exam an example came out of an example. Sheesh. It says, surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? And that's for you atheists. If you go into a pottery and create something, get your hands dirty, and you mold it into a shape, right? And they say that, that clay came to life and said, I made myself. You're like, what the hell? You probably break it, break it into uh, pieces or something, man. Yeah, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. And not you atheists out there, man. We just came from existence. There is no God. You bugging. It says, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? All right. And that's what the so-called white man is trying to do. He's trying to say, look, the the the, the most high power that, that, that made us he didn't have any understanding when he made us. He didn't know what he was talking about. His his ways of thinking are, are wrong. So you, now do you think that the Lord is just going to stand for that? Do you think that the Most High is just going to stand for that? Well, let's see. Because as we can see, the so-called white man and, and this, cap, this, 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 this captivity, this kingdom... Is completely adverse to the scriptures. So do you think that the Most High is going to take a backseat to to, to, to to something he created? I mean, it sucks that I, I, I literally hate even saying things like that. And it sucks that I even have to say shit like that, man. But unfortunately, that's exactly what's going on. That's what Esau is pretty much saying. I mean, he said... He shall sit in the, in, the, in the temple of the Most High as if he is the Most High. So if you want to take the Most High's place, what are you ultimately telling the Most High to do? So it sucks that I got to uh, 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 say shit like that and go into stuff like that because it's such disrespect to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, like, and we fear Yahweh Bashim al Shai, but that's what's happening. So all, 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 all that all that negative energy goes to, just falls on Esau, man. For even making us have to go into that. But this is Proverbs 13, 13. In case you thought that the Most High was going to take a backseat to you. And let you just come up out of nowhere and run stuff. Proverbs 13, 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. So if you got a problem with Yahweh Shemashah's law, statutes, and commandments. And everything that, 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 his Bible, that the Bible stands for. If you got a problem with that and you think you want to come and tweak it and say, oh, it should be this way or it should be that way or, uh, or or that's messed up or that's not right. And you get offended and you want to turn stuff and, you know, and, and, and add to the word and say that it should be like that. Guess what? You despise the word. That all falls under you despising the word. No, -uh -uh. you better not bring another woman home. You you going to do cheating on me. Listen, according to the Bible, man can have as many wives as he wants. But if you despise that, you got a problem with that or anything that the scriptures stand for. It says, whoso despise the word shall be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed. So being as how the United States of America, Babylon the Great, despises the word of the Lord. The fact that they are clean contrary to the word of the Lord. Hell, the scriptures say. You, 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 there's certain food you can eat. But what do they do in America? Say, eat whatever you want. Yes, yeah, so guess what? Whoso despised the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. See, and the Lord always comes through with the balance, man. Yeah, how about Shemal Shai? He even said a just, a, a un. Just balance is an abomination to the Lord. 
you know so we are always at means to even though y'all may be bugged out and y'all may be wicked and y'all may be uh, uh, uh adverse to the scriptures which uh, uh at which uh, uh pisses us off because the lord the scriptures also say hate the evil and love the good in the same token we are always appreciative man and thankful to Yahweh Bashmashai that uh, we are not in that lot and that our eyes are able to see and our ears are able to hear the truth. That's why it says, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. See? So we fear the commandment. Man, we fear the word of the Lord. We fear Yahweh Bashmashai. Okay, that's for one. So, meaning what? What he says goes. Period. Yeah, but Lord, don't you think that we should kind of what? No. For one, we fear Yahweh Shmashai in, in in His Word, and for two, we see that it's perfect firsthand. So why do you think Yahweh Shmashai say He don't change? You got a phrase in the world. If it ain't broke, why are you trying to fix it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave it. And the low statue of commandments surely is not broke, man. Scriptures Clay said, don't commit adultery with another man's wife. That's perfect. That avoids bloodshed. That avoids war. You know, that avoids uh, 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 distress. But then here Esau want to come and, and, and make, make music out of it. Get two-thirds of our pathetic... Uh, uh, a slot of pathetic two-thirds to come and make music out of it and entertainment out of it and make it look cool. That goes back to you turning... Things upside down, and what do you what, what what's the reward for that destruction? As the scripture just says, let's get another one. So that's why this place will be destroyed. This is Luke nineteen twenty seven. But those mine enemies. So now, because you despise everything that Yahweh Shmashai stands for, you are counted an enemy to the Lord now. And that's why you so called Christian churches got to fall in line. You think that God is all love. You think that he's all mercy. No, he's a balance. Oh, he's going to forgive me. Don't worry about it. Oh, I could do this. I could do that. Come as you are. No. According to the scriptures, how the Lord gets down is, oh, word, that's how you feel? But now you're my enemy, man. Not in the spirit of taking the back seat. Not in, not in the spirit of... You, don't worry, as long you can take as long as you want to get right. Get around your deathbed. And I know the Lord looks at you mm -hmm. like an enemy now. And what he's going to do to his enemies, according to the scripture. But those are my enemies, which not that I should reign over them. See, you didn't like the word. You didn't like what he stood for. Bring hither and slay them before me. See? What else? Proverbs 8 and 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. See? You only hurting your own self. By not respecting and not fearing and not loving the law, statute, commandments, and everything that this word stands for given to us from the Abash Mashai. You only hurting yourself. You better just shutting the hell up and being humble, man. But see. So as scripture say, many shall be destroyed by their own vain opinion. You, your opinion, you're, you're holding too much entitlement to your opinion. When you're a fucking nobody, who are you? Why is earth and ashes proud? That's why they ask us. No, put the Bible down. What's your opinion? What the hell you want my opinion for? My opinion is what the scriptures say. Who am I for, you know? She says, all they that hate me love death. So the Lord said he's going to slay you. The Lord said he's going to destroy you. 
Most say gonna kill you, man, because you love death. That is the reward for turning things upside down according to how the Most High intended. So therefore, what's going to happen to this place? A whole lot of death is coming. A whole lot of uh, slaying is coming. All right? A whole lot of destruction is coming for being adverse to the scriptures. And in that same token, the balance of the situation is that being as how we love everything Yabashim Hashah stands for, and how we putting our hand to the plow, we see the situation, we see the dilemma, and we sacrifice our lives and put our hand to the plow. May Yabashim Hashah have mercy upon us and our families if it be the Lord's will. Okay, and the water to Yahabashim Hashai, all praise and glory to Yahabashim Hashai for allowing us to even uh, have the chance, man, to repent. So, low will is edifying, and I'm going to say Shalom.